The next thing I'd like to show you is the waveform display for the LV5770. As you can see, we have the waveform display up there right now, and we have it to have it full screen at this point. And to select waveform simply means selecting the waveform button of the different modes that you see here on the right hand side. When you press the waveform button, a menu appears down below. And below that you have the corresponding function keys, F1 through 7, that correspond to the menu you see above it. By hitting F1, that brings you to the menu selection for the intensity and for the scale. Pressing that button allows you to make adjustments in regards to the intensity of the waveform display, the waveform color, the intensity of the scale itself, the color of the waveform graticule, and as you can see, I'm pressing the button until it highlights the selection I want. And it'll take that selection as simple as that. The next one over happens to be F5, which is a selection which allows you to control what graticule that you have up. Right now, as you can see, we happen to have it as percentage. But you can cycle through to have it displayed as a digital scale or you could have it displayed as millivolts. For now we'll cycle back down to uh, percentage and we'll move on to F7. F7 brings you back up to the main menu. One of the things that's nice about the LV5770 is how easy it is to use. In most cases there's only just two levels to the menus. All right. As we move over to F2 the selection there happens to be gain and filters. This allows you to be able to put the unit into a variable gain if you need to adjust the uh, size and position of the waveform. And F2 allows you to magnify the waveform times 5. F3 gives you the capability of adding a low pass filter. It sometimes can help with items like interpolation where you've got additional detail that shouldn't be there. Hitting F7 again brings us back to the main menu. And the next selection, F3, allows us to sweep either horizontally or vertically. And if we move down to F3, we have selections for magnification, times 10, times 20, active picture, and then magnification that happens to be perfect for looking at blanking when you need to do timing measurements or verify, for example, that embedded audio is present in the signal. We'll return that back and then we'll hit F7 again to move up into the menu and move over to the next selection which is F4 which happens to be line select. Pressing that brings us to another menu which allows us to turn on line select once we've done that, then our FD control here on the right hand side will allow us to select whatever line that we want to look at. FD stands for function dial. So by turning that, you can see that you can scroll through to whatever line of video that you want to take a look at. We'll turn that back off. We'll go back up menu again. And we'll move to the next item, which is F5, which happens to be the cursor display. Hitting that brings us down into the cursor menu, and we'll turn on the cursors. This allows you to be able to do measurements based on the y-axis for amplitude, and also the x-axis for timing measurements. Coming over to F3, when you're doing timing, allows you to select cycles or seconds for a unit of measurement. Coming back over here and moving to the y-axis then allows you to be able to do measurements in terms of amplitude which moving to F3 can be either in millivolts or it could be in percentage or it could also be in digital values. Now to move the cursors in effect 
there's a little delta type symbol that appears on the end of the cursor and that tells you that that particular cursor happens to be active. So right now our reference cursor, which is the blue, happens to be active and we can move that for example to the zero line. Then by simply pressing in the button we can then switch to our tracking cursor, the green, which now becomes active and we can move that either tracking or we can set it up where we're just moving just our, our delta cursor in effect. So, we'll turn that back off, we'll go back up menu, and we'll go to the next item, which happens to be F6, which is the display. And by display, that actually brings you to a sub-menu that allows you to decide whether or not you want to have the thumbnail audio display that's there, which could be turned off, if you find that distracting, that could be turned off, and also the picture display down below that you can see there in the larger monitor. If you'd rather not have that, that can be turned off also. With the 5770 as standard, you also have a histogram display. So with those turned off, we can now turn on the histogram, and the histogram will actually appear in behind the menu. Now the menu is programmable so that you can have it up there for designated amount of time. The default is normally five seconds, but you can adjust that time up to a high of about one minute in effect. So in this particular case I've adjusted it a little bit above five seconds so we have more time to take a look at it before it goes off. All right. So here again is the histogram display and we'll come back and we'll turn that off and we'll very easily turn back the picture display back on and we'll turn the audio back on and then we'll go back up menu to the main menu and we'll go to our last item which happens to be F7 which is the color system. By pressing F7 it drops you down into a second menu which if you go to F1 allows you to display the waveform in a component fashion which is what we're looking at right now which is called Y, C sub B, C sub R, or going to the next selection down, it can be displayed as GBR, or RGB, or the last section is a pseudo composite display. Now the pseudo composite display is what the analog signal would look like if it was converted from digital to analog. All right, we actually draw in the sync and the burst to make it look like an analog signal but the key thing is to actually looking at the amplitude of it to see what the analog signal would look like from the digital signal coming in. Let me show you a few other features that you can use when you're in the waveform display. When you look at the display you may say gee that looks like it uh, it's correct but actually it happens to be off-center both vertically and horizontally. How do you correct that? Well, simply by pressing in the horizontal position control will make your adjustment and make sure that the signal is positioned correctly horizontally. And by pressing in the vertical position control will make sure that the signal is positioned correctly vertically. So, if somebody happens to be playing with those controls and you need to put it back to where it's supposed to be, it's as simple as pressing both of those buttons in. Let me show you on the LV5770 how you can look at just the luminous channel by itself when you're in the waveform display. Take a look. Right now we're looking at what I call the component display where we're looking at the Y channel or luminous channel over the left hand side and then at the 50% mark we have our CB and our CR color difference channels. But maybe you want to just look at the luminance. All that's required is simply coming over here to the right hand side of the LV5770 and removing channel 2 and removing channel 3. In that fashion you can look at just the luminance information by itself. And if you need to be able to position that over further over the screen for easier viewing it's as simple as controlling your horizontal position. Let's go back to uh, to having three channels here and having using the center control just like that and maybe you want to uh, have the waveform set up so that all three of those channels 
are displayed at the same time, which is called the overlay mode instead of the parade mode, which is what we're looking at right now. So, going back over to the LV5770 and selecting overlay will now allow you to display all three of those channels together on top of each other in one display. And again, by using the horizontal position, you can move the waveform over if you like to see it more centered. And it's as easy as that.